Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be going over signal detection theory which is an important concept in the psych -soc section of the MCAT. So we'll start with a definition. A signal detection theory is a theory which examines how we make decisions under uncertain conditions. So what exactly does this mean? Well really you just need to be familiar with the terminology that goes with signal detection theory and you'll be able to get most questions right. So we'll go over that terminology and then we'll use an example. So if you look at the square we have in the bottom corner, you have a signal and we need to know if that signal is present or absent and then you have a response. And did the person have a response to that signal? If yes and the signal is present, that's a hit. So if we take a look at our definition, a hit refers to subject, the subject detecting the presence of a signal accurately. Now we also have a false alarm over here where a false alarm refers to a subject detecting the presence of a signal when it is absent. Next we have what's called a correct rejection. So a correct rejection refers to a subject who accurately determines the absence of a signal. And if this is a little confusing right now, don't worry, we're going to go over an example in just a sec. And lastly is a miss, and a miss refers to a subject failing to detect a signal when it is present. So what would be a good example for using signal detection theory? So one example would be something like a hearing test. Okay, so let's say in the hearing test, a sound will be played, and if the subject hears the sound, they raise their hand. So that's the test we're going to go off of. If they don't hear the sound, then they should not raise the hand, okay? So let's say that the sound is present and the subject raises the hand. In that case, that's going to be a hit because the signal was present and there was a positive response and the subject responded. So that's a hit, okay? Now, let's say the sound is present again, but the subject does not raise their hand. In that case, it would be a miss. Now, moving on, let's say that the sound was actually absent. So in the test, they didn't play a sound, but the subject raised their hand thinking that they heard a sound. Well, in that case, it's going to be a false alarm because as you can see here, the signal was absent, but the, there was a response, okay? And that leaves us left with correct rejection. So a correct rejection is going to be when the signal is absent but the, and the subject does not raise their hand. In that case, you're going to get a correct rejection. So this is kind of similar to false positives and false negatives, if you're familiar with the, those concepts, but you need to know the specific terminology for signal detection theory. And this is how you will be tested on the MCAT. They're going to give you some situation like this, and you're going to, be, you're going to need to know what is the right terminology. So if you don't have these definitions memorized, I suggest you unsuspend your Anki cards that's associated with this program. And another good strategy for memorizing this type of question would be to get good at drawing out this four by four table, or sorry, this two by two table. If you can do that, then anytime you get a question, you'll just be able to refer to the table and you'll get the right answer. So hopefully this was helpful in learning the signal detection theory. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.